Hey, what's up guys? It's Lumo here. Welcome back to the channel, man. Sorry, it's not a live commentary. I tried so hard to get like a good, decent game while making this video live and I got pissed off and raged off. But I hope you guys are doing well. Today, we're going to be talking about the Black Ops 6 Mastery Camo Grind because if you guys don't know anything about it, which you can find all the information in the articles that I linked down below that are from Activision and from Treyarch. The Black Ops 6 Mastery Camel Grind is just insane. It's crazy and I'm ready for it, okay? But I'm low-key already am suffering because I am not even, you know, fully finalizing my plan, okay? So just to give you guys the basics here, okay? The Camel Grind is nine military camos, right? So the nine military camos is for every weapon. Every single weapon in Black Ops 6 to launch has nine military camos. And those nine military camos are all headshot challenges that you have to complete. So let's say it's get 10 headshots, then 15, then 20, so on and so forth. And then you have to get, let's say, 100 headshots, right? And as soon as you get 100 headshots with that one weapon, you complete all nine military camo for that one weapon so i have to do that for every single weapon just headshots headshot headshots and i'm just kind of worried about snipers because as you guys know like i'm getting my shot back but i'm not aiming at the head all the time i am aiming at like upper chest to shoulders so if it's a headshot challenge for snipers i'm basically screwed but after you complete the nine military camo challenges for all the weapons right you have two unique camo challenges for unique camos and they can be completed in any order. But but what Treyarch has said about the unique camo challenge for every weapon is that it's different for every weapon, but it's tailored to that weapon's playstyle. So let's say, for example, for shotguns, get 10 kills, point blank range, right? Or for SMGs, dive and get 10 kills with an SMG. Or for snipers, get a shot 50 meters far out, right? So it's kind of like the unique camo challenges are literally tailored to the weapon that you're using for that challenge. Then after the two unique camo challenges, you have four mastery camos to do that all have their own criteria and challenges. And for Warzone, Zombies, and Multiplayer, we don't know the four mastery camo challenges at all. All we know realistically is that Multiplayer and I think Zombies, don't quote me on the Zombies one, but definitely the Multiplayer one. I think they said that Zombies and Multiplayer, the nine military camo challenges are all headshots, right? And then the two unique camo challenges are all the same or a little bit different on Zombies and Multiplayer. And then the Mastery Camo Challenge, they just haven't revealed at all for any of the three game modes. But the Mastery Camo Challenge is literally expanded from Multiplayer and Zombies to Multiplayer Zombies and Warzone. So there's a lot of drama actually as well, once again, with Black Ops 6 and what they're doing, which the drama is that Warzone is now going to be a challenge fest where people are just doing stupid challenges and the player base is not actually just trying to do the main original objective, which is to win, right? Which I totally get that. That's a valid point. But I'm excited for the multiplayer and zombies camo grind. Here is my entire plan. Okay, my entire plan is to, one, as soon as I unlock a weapon, right, at like level one, level two, level three, I will use that weapon until... I am done with the camo challenges, the military challenges, and the unique challenge, right? I'll just keep doing that until I hit level 55. But I've said this in the past that I was going to do the master prestige challenge. I'm not doing it immediately. My plan is to hit level 55 on prestige one, then complete the multiplayer mastery camo grind for all of the multiplayer weapons. And then after that, after I get dark matter on all my guns, I'm going to go over to zombies and do the exact same thing and get the Borealis copy, right? I think it's called Nebula or something like that. So we're gonna do all of that. Then I'm kind of at a crossroads here. Shout out to C Cody Rhodes, if you guys know who that is. I'm at a crossroads with if I should do the Warzone camo challenge, man. Because I've said this countless times, I don't want to play Warzone for challenges. Like I don't like Warzone challenges, even for events and all that stuff. All I really care about is getting the win and getting a lot of kills while doing that. With how I am as a solo player and how I don't want to just be a burden to a squad, realistically, to my friends, randoms, my viewers, when I play with you guys, I don't know if I want to do the Warzone camo grind. Depending on the challenges and what they are and how hard they are, I might do it. But if it's like really crazy stuff, right, where like I have to, you know, like do some crazy stuff for one camo, I might not do it at all. And if it's a headshot challenge in Warzone for the nine military camos, dude, I say goodbye. I'm not doing it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, I'm really content and at a crossroads with if I want to do the Warzone camo grind, dude. 
I don't know what it will be because they haven't announced anything yet. But I do know some people like Roe, um, and some I'm guessing some of my viewers are already trying to figure out a plan, right? And I even have a multiplayer and zombies plan as well, which I'll go into next. Yeah, let me know what I should do. Should I do the Warzone challenge? Like, should I just decide to do it, you know, right after zombies? Or, right, which is the final part of my plan, I do the Warzone challenge while also doing the Master Prestige challenge, right? If I don't do the Warzone challenge, I'll just focus on the Master Prestige challenge. All I care about at the end of the day is finishing at least the multiplayer and zombies mastery camo grind. That's all I care about because I did it in Modern Warfare 2 with multiplayer. And then I did it in Modern Warfare 3 with zombies and multiplayer, even though it took me a couple months, right? It's going to be a fun time, man, because, dude, I'm actually genuinely locked in for once for this Master Camo Grind because I know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've done this for two years now, and I've been at the slowest pace. I've been a turtle this entire time. It's time to ramp it up and get some upgrades within the mindset within the fatigue of me playing and within my skill to do a challenge i literally cannot start sweating my balls off just because i you know get shit on by another better player that's using the meta 24 7. i literally have to commit commit to this challenge man because i'm trying to complete at least the multiplayer challenge as quickly as possible dude all right but man oh man i'm ready for this man let me know if i should do the war zone camo grind and or just start off with master prestige I don't know, but yeah, man, I'm excited for the camo grind, and we still have some things to talk about. Black Ops 6 beta has been out for a day now, officially, thank God, when I'm uploading this. And we got hackers, if you guys didn't see my last video, there are now hacks on, I don't even know what the platform was, but it did look like PC. But there's hackers already in the Black Ops 6 beta, there are reverse boosters, two boxers already, People are already dropping nukes. Congrats to them. People hitting crazy clips. There's so many things going on with the Black Ops 6 beta. And I have some things that I really like and some things I really don't like. So my favorite thing so far is the gameplay itself. The movement, omni-movement, sliding, the gunplay. All of that stuff is very smooth, very fast-paced, which I really do like. And I wouldn't change a thing, honestly, other than weapon balancing, which I'll go into later on when I talk about my least favorite things. But I really like the gunplay and the gameplay of Black Ops 6 already, dude. I don't feel like there's any delay. You just have to fix a couple of settings, which are now common knowledge, right? People have already figured it out, which is good. So shout out to the people who did. But yeah, like once you change your settings, like the tactical sprint assist, that's basically auto attack sprint now, you will be set, right? I also really do like that there's no aim assist or aim assist that was as strong as Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3's aim assist. That was a well needed change because dude, I feel like a lot of people's aim got carried by the Modern Warfare aim assist for the last two games. And even me, like up close, I am trash right now. I am trash. I'm in a whole entire adjustment period, but like from medium to a far range, I still got it. And I do have my moments where like I'm hitting everything up close from afar, from medium range. So it's literally just me adjusting my settings and just getting used to centering on Black Ops 6. Um, another thing that I really like is the just whole aesthetic of the game, right? I really like some of the maps. SCAD though, I don't like. Just get that map out of the map rotation, but I do want to play Face Off. Hopefully they release that soon. But let's talk about some of my least favorite things so far. So my least favorite thing so far is the graphics. That's huge. I, it, it just feels like, it, like it's decent, but like, you know, I kind of see what people are saying when they say it's taken four years to make graphics like this like not not just the game but the graphic itself so it kind of looks too potato-y i don't know like i don't know if it's fully optimized because some people like nature i've said like the game's not optimized at all for pc i'm still getting 500 600 fps okay so that's all i that care right and my quality's still good on obs but i really just wish the graphics were like a little bit more polished a little bit more better a little bit just more realistic i guess i don't know but like i'm not gonna lie the only thing I'm really gonna praise IW for, Infinity Ward for, is that they still have the best looking games after five years. Modern Warfare 2019 is beautiful. Modern Warfare 2, when it, you're playing on all high graphics, is beautiful. Modern Warfare 3, that's Sledgehammer, so that doesn't count. But, you know, the graphics need to be fixed. They need to be fixed and polished and look better, okay? For four years, even though it's a Call of Duty game and we shouldn't expect a lot for graphics, right? Even on normal graphics, Modern Warfare 3 was looking good. Even on low graphics, which I was playing on for Modern Warfare 2, it still looked good. So when I have everything on off and low and then some of it on normal, right, which I usually don't, and the game looks horrible, it kind of says something. Another thing that I really don't like is the weapon balancing. I am getting repeatedly killed and railed by the PDW 
and or the XM4. They literally, at any range, the PDW is so good depending on the build. And then the XM4 will just mess you up out of nowhere, man. But it's crazy that so many people that don't even want to use the meta are forced to because of how good both those weapons are by themselves. Like a lot of snipers, bro, they're not sniping at all. I haven't seen a clip from some snipers that I follow on Twitter. And I'm like, damn, what's going on? And I asked them and they're like, yeah, it's sniping's just impossible right now with how slow the snipers are and how the gunplay and how the balancing is for the weapons, man. It's ridiculous. My like, I don't like having to use the meta 24 seven to have quote unquote good gameplay, bro. You know what I'm saying? I cannot compete with certain guns when I'm trying to use every single weapon. You know what I'm saying? And I think another least favorite thing of mine is the sniping as well. Sniping is too slow, right? It's too slow. The ADS, the sprint to fire speed, the rechamber speed, the, sp the fire rate for the sniper is just very slow. The other snipe, the Dragonov is not even that useful. And the LR is actually really good, but it's just too slow. Even if after you get it, all the attachments, I've seen people still like rage about it. You know what I'm saying? And the people that are committed to using these other non-meta weapons, right? And or weapons that don't have attachments or are not leveled up, respect to you. I'm excited for the Black Ops 6 Mastery Camel Grind. I'm excited for Black Ops 6 itself. Just need to fix a couple of things. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.